Today we're going to start by making our scene. I'm using the Hero Arts Pool Ink and my ink blending tool from Ranger. And I'm just going to start in a circular motion to make my sky. And since this is a new ink pad, it has a lot of ink. So I'm kind of daubing my blending tool off of my scratch paper first and then working my way on the card just to try to eliminate getting those square markings on my sky here. Now that I have that done, I'm using this Chevron Backdrop Set from Lawn Fawn and Wild Wasabi Ink from Stampin' Up! to make my grass. I just thought this was something fun and different. So there's the grass. Then this is a stork stamp I got from Hampton Arts. It's an old, very old stamp set. And this is a stamp set from Paper Tray Ink called Heart to Heart number 6. And it has matching dies, so here they are cut out. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp right on them. So here's the first one, and there's the sun. I use the Jenny Bolin ink. And then I'm just kind of laying them out here on my card. And then the little clouds, I decided to keep them white, so I just die cut them again. Now I'm going to make my sentiment. I'm using that welcome and then this word baby. That's the Hampton Art set. And then I'm going to make the baby's name with this Lawn Fawn Claire's ABC set. So I'm just mixing my sentiments from different stamps to um, make a custom sentiment here. And I'm just using basic Memento Black ink. So now I'm just going to adhere these little elements onto the card. I made that blue cloud pop up using dimensional adhesive and then the rest I just glued straight down to my card. And then for a little pop of color I took a pink marker and I just colored in that little heart shape. Then I stamped this image again on white and cut it out very carefully. And now I'm going to use my multi-purpose adhesive to glue this down so that I have a white stork. So being very careful, this is a very thin cut. And now just taking my Bic marker here to color in the beak. And then I'm using my plain Crayola um, colored pencils to lightly color in the baby. So I'm using brown and white to make a skin tone shade here. And then I took my gray to color in the baby's mouth there and then to lightly add some shadow around this area of the, um, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> and then around the um, stork as well, just to add a little bit of detail and dimension. Then I just added this to my card front here. And then my simple finishing touch was I just added some faux stitching with a black thin marker around the border. And that completes the card today. I hope you enjoyed this personalized baby card. Thanks for watching.